Tesla, we will look at the basics of how this engine operates. Looking at the middle cylinder, we have the intake stroke, compression, power, exhaust, and back to intake. Looking at the camshaft, we see it pushing on the valve lifters to open the valves. The valve springs hold the valves shut most of the time, but they are compressed by the rockers which are pushed by the lifters, and the valves open when it is necessary. This is where the magnetos and starter are attached to and driven by the engine. When the engine is overhauled, it is nearly completely disassembled so it can be cleaned, inspected, and repaired as necessary so that it meets the technical data provided by the manufacturer. It is then reassembled and tested to verify correct operation within the limits set by the manufacturer. We reassembled this engine in the vertical position, so we had to remove it from the engine stand and mount it on the test stand. We used block and tackle to hoist it into the air, then attach another hoist to attach it to the engine stand. Once on the stand, we install the propeller, the carburetor, magnetos, and other sensors like tachometer and oil pressure. Here you can see everything installed and ready to go for this engine. All the accessories, sensors, and fuel lines are attached and secured. The shroud over the engine is for cooling purposes, so the engine will not overheat while it is on the test stand. We move the test stand into the rocket test cell for testing of this engine. Manifold pressures, reading, temperatures up. Okay, ready to start. Clear. Immediately after starting the engine, we look for oil pressure and adjust the engine RPM to around 1000. After leaning the engine to the proper mixture setting, we will test the magnetos for proper operation. Once all the testing is complete, we can have a little bit of fun before we have to put the engine away.